the bullfrog or the ksp45 that is the question that this video is going to answer so we're going to compare the stats for both the bullfrog as well as the ksp45 smgs to let you know which one you should be using if you're new to the channel and you enjoy watching breakdown videos for cold war guns as well as warzone subscribe to the channel as that's the kind of content we make here both of these smgs couldn't be any more different they have a lot of different standout features some people may prefer to use the bullfrog, some people may prefer to use the KSP and ultimately it'll be because of very different reasons and this video is going to break all that down for you. The bullfrog is a low damage SMG with one of its standout features being the size of the magazine you get off the base weapon. The KSP stands out inside its category because it's the only burst fire SMG inside of the game. Now before we compare both of the weapons I'm going to show you the class setups that we use to compare both of these guns. First we have the Bullfrog and for the Bullfrog we use the VDV Reinforced Barrel. It gives you a good balance between bullet velocity as well as damage range. As always because this is an SMG I'm running the 5 milliwatt laser for the best possible hipfire accuracy and I think it's very much needed for SMGs in this game. For the underbarrel I went for the foregrip attachment but the Bullfrog doesn't actually need any more recoil stabilization. I just had a spare attachment that I thought I would use here. You can use any other attachment for this, so for example you can use an optic. For the magazine I used the Vandal speed loader, I just wanted the quicker reload time. You don't necessarily need a bigger magazine than what you already get with the base bullfrog. And then for the last attachment we went for the speed tape to get a faster aim down sight time. And this is quite useful because some of the other attachments with this gun actually reduce your aim down sight time. So we just use this to bring it back up again. There's almost a different kind of importance when you're choosing attachments for the KSP now because it is a burst fire weapon. So what we went for here was the reinforced heavy barrel. Again, this is the best balance between bullet velocity as well as damage range. And for this gun, it's quite useful. For the body attachment, we went for the steady aim laser and that's so you don't get any other negatives to this gun. It's already pretty difficult to use. Then for the under barrel, we went for the front grip again and that's just to reduce that horizontal recoil. We went for the 42 round mags, now you could go for the faster reloading mags as well. But I think this portion just comes down to personal preference. And finally to top it off we went with the no stock attachment so that we get the fastest possible sprint to fire time. It's quite important with this gun because you kind of notice that it's not as snappy as the rest of the SMGs in this game. And a lot of it is down to that sprint to fire time. Like I said overall the KSP is a really weird gun in this game because it is a burst fire gun and not only that it's a burst fire SMG which makes it a bit more difficult to use compared to the other SMGs in this game. But then again, the Bullfrog doesn't really stand out for many other reasons other than its large magazine. On the screen here, you see stats for both of the guns. We've got the Bullfrog on the left, we've got the KSP on the right. Green is just some highlight areas I want to show you, and blue is with the attachments added, and white is just the base weapon. What we have here is the Bullfrog is a 4 shot kill to the head and a 5 shot kill to the body whereas the KSP is a 3 shot kill to the head and a 3 shot kill to the body within those close ranges. That means the KSP kills in one burst and that means it's time to kill is 166 milliseconds because its rate of fire is 722 rounds per minute. And then the Bullfrog's time to kill is 320 milliseconds which is actually one of the longer time to kills compared to all of the other SMGs in the game. So what we're looking at here is basically two opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of time to kill. The Bullfrog is actually one of the longest in its category whereas the KSP is definitely the quickest in terms of time to kill inside its category. Now in terms of damage ranges you can see the Bullfrog extends out almost double in terms of its base damage range than the KSP. And the gap is very similar even when you look at the damage ranges with the attachments added. The base aim down sight time for both guns is exactly the same at 275 milliseconds. The ADS speed with the attachments added are slightly quicker on the KSP but that's because on the Bullfrog we use attachments that do negatively impact the aim down sight time. The magazine size shown on the screen here is with the attachments added so that's what you're seeing just now. The base reload time for the Bullfrog is 2.8 seconds which is stated in game and then if you add the attachments it goes down to 1.7 seconds. For the KSP the base reload time is 2.4 seconds and then that increases to 2.6 seconds with the attachments added. The bullet velocity for both base weapons is not great and that extends out further into all the SMGs in this game. So using the attachments we showed you gets the bullet velocity for the bullfrog to 450 meters per second and the bullet velocity for the KSP to 360 meters per second.
all other movement stats are very similar for both of these guns. If you value raw time to kill, the KSP is the clear option here. But if you value anything else in terms of aim down sight time, large magazines, especially long damage ranges, then the Bullfrog is the clear option. Now the damage ranges are great on the Bullfrog, but you need to be making sure you actually hit your shots at that range. So the next thing we're going to take a look into is the recoil pattern for these guns. On the screen here you'll see the recoil chart, we've got the Bullfrog in green, the KSP in blue, and then we have no attachments on the left and then with the recommended attachments on the right. And we can see that the Bullfrog's recoil goes upwards and to the left, and the KSP's recoil is very central. Now of course this makes sense because the KSP is a burst fire weapon so it's going to be much more accurate, but the Bullfrog's recoil is very easy to control as well. So for the KSP the main focus is to reduce as much horizontal recoil as you possibly can, and that's why we use that front grip. For the Bullfrog you don't actually need any recoil controlling attachments in my opinion, because it's very easy to control even at the longer distances. And as you can see, adding the attachments definitely helps out a little bit to reduce that horizontal recoil for both guns. It's clear that you're going to be landing most of your shots with both of these guns, especially if you use it within the correct distances. From my experience testing both of these guns and trying to get gameplay for this video specifically, I found that the KSP is way more difficult to land shots with. And the problem with that is because it does have a burst delay, so if you miss your first couple of shots with a KSP, especially at the close ranges you should be using an SMG, you're most likely going to die. It's not the same as using an M16 or an AUG because you're using those guns at longer ranges where you have more time to think about your shots. This gun is going to be used at very close range. So that's something to definitely think about, and as we're using both of these guns at close range, another thing we need to consider is the hit fire accuracy. Now we'll take a look at the hit fire chart, and again the Bullfrog's in green and the KSP is in blue. As we can see, the base weapons with no attachments have a pretty standard hit fire accuracy. Then the Bullfrog obviously looks more accurate than the KSP, but keep in mind we're using different attachments here. If we use the 5 milliwatt laser on the KSP, it would also be more accurate too. So both guns are very similar in terms of hit fire accuracy, but another thing you need to keep in mind is that you need to spam your shots with the KSP. You can't just hold down your trigger and let the gun do all of the work, like you can do with the Bullfrog. Personally, I just think the Bullfrog is way more consistent in this game. It's very rare that I've actually got a one burst kill with the KSP, even at extremely close ranges. I mainly get two burst kills, and only if you're extremely accurate with the KSP would you get a one burst kill. And in my opinion, it's very difficult to be accurate, especially when you're in close quarters fights where enemies are jumping and sliding around. Also, if you miss your first burst with the KSP, you're quite likely to die. It's not a very reassuring thing to have as your SMG. If you want to try out that low time to kill potential, you could definitely try out the KSP, but personally, I'm going to recommend the Bullfrog. If you enjoyed this video, leave us a like as it helps more people see our content. And we've been uploading daily since the launch of Cold War so that you can get the best content. And on top of that, we want to reach our goal of 5,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you very much for watching.